What is up everybody today is uh, Friday and we are headed to Moonville RC I need a transponder and a t-shirt for my dad so he can wear it while I'm racing so let's go inside and see if uh, Rich is here and say hello And then I got a transponder because, you know, my old one went bad. And this is the hybrid one. So, got that sponsored discount. So, super happy. So, I can't wait to go and uh, use it. And we're going to go home now and pack up everything and then head on the road. See you guys then. So I'm here with mom and dad. We just ate at Crackle Barrel. It was pretty good. I got the double uh, burger. It was like the new thing they got, so it's really good. Now we just gotta go find a hotel. There's like seven hotels around here, so we just gotta, you know, itty meeny miny mo, pick one and then just go reserve it. And then we're gonna see if we can go practice today. Um, when we drove by earlier when we got here, there was only one car there, so I don't know. We just gonna drive by, knock on the door, you know. So we're gonna see how it is and uh, keep y'all guys up to date. So we're uh, staying at Carolina Inn. I've never actually heard of this hotel before, but it was a super nice um, Indian lady. So she checked us in. It was only $90. Considering all the other hotels around here are almost $150, not including tax. This is a pretty nice spot. So we got the two queens, the bathroom. In this thing so you know just your uh your standard um i'm in the bathroom now <laughs> just your standard hotel but it's super clean um so we're gonna do it up we here we finally made it uh when we first came by it was only one car here so we didn't know if they were actually open but we called him and he's open and it's ten dollars of practice so i'm gonna go ahead go inside and do a couple hours practice because you know you gotta get dialed in you know so I'm going to do a bunch of videos for you guys, so don't worry.
So we're leaving speed. <laughs> Man. So uh, tonight was just practice. Uh, we practiced for about three hours. So now we're going to go get dinner with mom. I practiced the B5M. It was actually really good. I didn't have a lot of steering like the other guys, but then again, I was running a four gear and I wasn't running the correct tires, but that's okay. So um, the last lap, my uh, ball diff went bad. It was normally real quiet and then it started getting real loud and grindy. So pff, it is what it is because I got it and it was super grindy. So I just got to get a new one. So most likely I'll end up just doing a stadium truck tomorrow because it actually drove a lot better than my uh, B5M. So we'll see it, how it is tomorrow. So we're going to go eat. Yo, good morning, everyone. It is 7.50 a.m. and we're just getting out of the hotel so practice starts at eight o'clock this morning and they start racing at 10 so i'm gonna go ahead get there get the camera set up <clears throat> and get some good laps in with the stadium truck so <sighs> it's gonna be a long day still in the practicing this morning and I've gotten a few laps in with my stadium truck um, I'm not running it I'm not running the recommended tires but it it actually drives surprisingly good the only thing is um, I'm running a castle 3800 kV so when I give it the juice uh, the diff winds so I tighten it down so you know waiting on batteries to charge so oh. There you go. It just finished, so I'm gonna go do a couple laps and then uh, see if it's still doing that whining. But besides that, the car's great. So. everyone it's almost uh, 10 o'clock and they just closed the track so that means no more practice laps so the race is about to start so I thought while we have this break we should go and do a uh, pit walk uh, I mean why not you know see what everybody's racing you know so let's go we can start with mine come on now auto focus there we go you know, I'm doing the stadium truck. I got both of these tables. One for all my camera gear. This is my race. And then I got my other GoPro up there doing a the time lapse. And I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. You know, options. And these are the people I'm sitting across. They're doing stock, mod, another mod, and a 4x4. Four four. So they're doing three classes, I think. I brought four. Got a short course truck. Rear motor. That's cool. Yes. 
people getting the sauce on their tires. Keeps them soft and gives them more grip, you know. Cleaning the tire. Bunch of buggies, bunch of buggies. Number one class. Got all the tires. Options, you know, options. Another GoPro. GoPro, yeah. We got we got stadium trucks and we got other sort of courses. A bunch of these are reserved for the the local guys and stuff. And then there, way back there is the VIP, and up there is uh, the uh, driver announcer, and then there's a driver staying up there. So that was uh, the pit walk. Uh, a lot of people getting ready for the first qualifier. I don't think they've right, put them up yet, so well, we still got to print them up and stuff. So. underway first is novice so I don't know where I'm at in the mains probably not that well because I was like I finished six in the third qualifier so it's not my fault it's the equipment it's not me bro so we'll see how it is and get some more uh, footage of the mains I just finished my A main. I finished sixth out of eight. Ah, it wasn't me. It was the equipment. I didn't have, you know, all the other guys I was racing were like 95% local and they had uh, totally different tires than what I had. But I'm real proud about how I was able to do with like my circumstances. So we're going to go home and go to sleep. <laughs> 